Welcome to Know for Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and I, what can I say? Deidre Love, Executive Director of Teams with a Purpose, you're here. Yes, I am. I Thanks love it. Thanks for having me. I, it, is so great. it is so great to have you guys on because you're doing such great stuff. And to be quite candid with you, you're doing such good stuff, I never know what's really coming up. So you got some real surprises, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we have a lot of good things coming up. So one of them is a gala. Yes. Let's get it right out there. Okay. What are you wearing? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, we're in the season All right. Now. Well, who the first are you thing wearing, I, I guess I'm supposed to say. I say. don't know who I'm wearing yet. I'm going to find her or him, his design. Next week, when I lose five pounds, I'm going to wear black and gold. I'm sure of it because it's a black and gold gala. Yes. Okay. Why don't you just let the kids dress you? Um, that's pretty chancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not going to do What's the it. purpose of the gala? <laughs> the gala is our biggest fundraising event, and that's how we keep all of our team programs free to any teen who wants to participate and it's also how we honor young people who are doing things in their lives in their community in their school and making some personal achievements we have an award called the move maker award and um, it's an it's also an opportunity for the teens to get dressed up mm -hmm. to the nines i mean we have people who donate uh, tuxedos and formal gowns so that none of the teens um, have to come and not be prepared. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty generous and amazing. It's like a Cinderella night. Yeah. Uh, now, um, Richard, I got to. I'm going to ask you. What are you wearing? Um, I'm going to try to just keep it simple. You know, black on black with um, gold tie, gold accessories. I get some glasses. You know. Okay, some new glasses. Yeah, some new you, ones. How about the sneaks? Um. Huh? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some wingtips. I'm. I'm gonna. Get all the way. All out. I'm gonna go I, all the way. You know, I kind of joke about that, but one of the things I like about teens with a purpose, you kind of you do get where where the teens are coming from and where they want to go, and you can provide that kind of bridge. And and really dressing for the gala, yeah, is important, isn't it? It's very important, and that's why like I do want to like I like to dress down like at work and things like that. But for the gala, like it's okay, it's okay to get dressed up, and I know the kids feel good about it. And I also like dressing up as well, so okay. it's always a good time. Ticket price? $75 for adults, $55 for youth. And it goes for a great cause. Yes, How are you going to spend does. that money? Uh, we're going to spend that money on all of our year-round programs. From, mm, from September through the end of the school year, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, free teen programs at the Teen Center. We teach yoga. We have a music studio where they learn music. We have poetry. We have dance. They go on trips. Uh, there's incentives for the teens. Uh, it's all about them, and it's all about keeping it free. We also have a free dinner program at the center. And um, it's just, you know, we just want to make it possible that any teen who wants to be a part of this can. We even offer uh, free transportation on Monday nights. Uh, home because we have now we have a, a um, van that we transport the teens. So we want to cool. make our programs accessible to anybody who wants to take advantage of it. Okay, now when I saw you in pre-tape, I said I want to talk about getting old. So I'm going to let you did. introduce the old guy on the sofa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> yes, because he's you know, this elderly, He's over the hill, right? Totally. This Green elderly you know. gentleman <laughs> with <laughs> us. <laughs> Uh, Marcus, will you tell them a little bit about yourself? Uh, Marcus Jones, you you're, you got your sea legs. <laughs> no. Marcus, Marcus Jones, Marcus, wrong Marcus Jones. Mar Marcus, Marcus Brown. Brown. There we go. No, um, I've been a part of T TWP Teens with a Purpose since uh, 13, 12. I think it was actually 12 years old. Uh, initially, I joined because my sisters did it before me, and they were the very first group. Ah. And uh, after that. You know, I would go to their activities, their events, and eventually, of course, I joined in and, you know, kind of molded Were you me. always the little brother then? I, well, no, not always. You kind of gained <laughs> your own. I kind of, like, respectfully held my own. So, you know, eventually, uh, I, this kind of molded me to who I am and kind of got me where I am to be now with my current job. And it's been a, a very fruitful thing to have TWP in my life because not only does it uh, showcase that you can give to others, but it kind of brings out who the person you are in the long run and teaches you how to, to live a better life and it educates you at the same time. So it's a very beneficial thing to have in the community 
where especially where in this day and age there's a lot of teenagers who have uh, a lost sense of direction and now they have somewhere to go. Now let me talk about giving back because uh, your current employer is who? A carnival, our Carnival Cruise Lines is my current employer. Uh, I actually professionally DJ for them, so it's I don't know how that tied in with teens with a purpose. Well, but who did you get? Who did you get to work with when you first went with Carnival? You were telling I me. I was actually uh, working with the teenagers on board when I first joined Carnival Cruise Lines, and uh, in that sense, it was me doing their activities, doing their parties, uh, just having fun with the teenagers while they're on board. And let me ask you, okay, teens on a ship, teens on Valentine. Similarities? <laughs> yes, big time. Yeah, <laughs> big time. So. so Richard, what's the magic? What 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 is that connection? Do you think? When you say with kids, yeah, with the kids, yeah, with getting them to open up. Really, yeah, really, it just um, it boils down to having to see see where they're coming from on their level. Really meeting them when they walk through those doors, whatever it is that is on their shoulders, that we don't we're not judgmental of that. We receive we receive what comes through what comes through the doors of teens with a purpose, and we nurture that. And like if teen if teens are lost, it's like we're not gonna be like you need to do this or like it's not like that because that's not how that's not how life is lived. Like we do it in a very a very organic and authentic way, and like and it's all it's all out of love. Like we've like we've been there before. Some of us are still going through some of the same things. So it's like once they once they see that and they build that trust that we can we can open up we can open up to you guys and we can share our ideas and dreams like that and have somewhere that they will actually grow. Like it gives them the passion to actually put that energy forth to to make all those things manifest. So like. And I, I think it's magic. It's, it's well, I'll, I'll call it real magic, because that's like that's what it is. We see kids go from middle school all the way to graduating and going to college, and and a lot of people in in, um, in the community don't think that these kids are capable of just doing that, and and it's like and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Right. So. What a, what a great way to put it. I was going to ask you to go out with a rap, but you went out with some real wisdom. So, and I, I'm going to tell you, we're going to have you back on because I do want to talk about some of the issues that you're dealing with, like with uh, healthy. But they're giving me the clothes sign. Let's talk oh, real wow. quickly about healthy. Um, we just feel like it's really important. We started a community garden, and the teens grow the food and the vegetables and the fruit, and they talk about life and relate it to the garden. And then that we are supplying dinner for some teenagers who wouldn't otherwise have that and working with the police department cycling and the yoga and it's it's a whole person kind of thing it takes more than just the, the music and the poetry it takes you know the whole community really type thing. and that is the magic of teens with purpose thanks a lot so. when we come back we're talking about uh, the venues coming up uh, at chrysler and all the all the good stuff stay tuned